once again, welcome to My Car Shop. This is episode 25 of the 47 Ford Street Rod. Christmas came here in the last couple days. I haven't opened everything up yet, but I figured before I tear this intake off, I probably should open this box up and uh, make sure that the intake gasket set that I got from O'Reilly's is correct. Um, talked to Eastwood this morning because I didn't get an order confirmation for my seam sealer, and uh, I don't know why it didn't come through. But I was able to log into the account and it definitely is ordered. So uh, GM 5.7 liter, I believe that would be the gasket right there. So that's great. Looks an awful lot like a Mopar at first glance, which I have about a dozen of them over there on the shelf. But of course, ports are different sizes. So, okay, what else do we got here? So when we did our weekly grocery shopping the other day, uh, we do uh, grocery pickup. And Walmart was kind enough to also deliver a gallon of lacquer thinner out to the car to my wife. A couple um, cans of satin black. I wanted a quart, but they didn't have it, so that's okay. So we'll be able to spray those, uh, hope those, yeah, satin, okay. Uh, spray those inner fender wells. I was also able to get some liquid hardener for the um, your, uh, polyester primer. They had that, and some regular cream hardener for the other Bondo because I was getting low and I was also able to pick up a cord of tiger hair so that's good. Um, I'm in pretty good shape now except for the seam sealer and uh, I don't think I'm going to need the tiger hair on this car for anything anymore but uh, I'm still chomping at the bit to get at that roof on that 70 Challenger out there so um, the other thing I want to do is get that 74 swinger in here and get the quarter panels hung on that at some point. I need to dig my plasma cutter out because uh, last time I used it, it didn't work. So I need to dig that out and see what's going on. I may have to take that down to my buddy Chris and uh, have him diagnose the electronics on it and see what's going on. It might just be the tip. They're a little finicky. It's old. I've had it a long time. So it's probably due for an upgrade, but I don't want to spend the money if I don't have to. So anyway, uh, today we're going to work on getting the intake off since we have the gaskets and uh, get this thing at least sandblast it. I'm still feeling under the weather today, so I don't know how much I'm going to get done, but I thought, well, rather than sitting around feeling sorry for myself, I'm going to just keep chipping away at this thing, and uh, if we get the intake off today, that may be enough. I may get some sandblasting done. I may not. I'm not going to make a job out of this, so let's get after it. Right now all my GM buddies are laughing at me because I'm used to a Mopar, you don't have to take the distributor out to get the intake off. Only General Motors would decide something that you have to take the distributor out. So, uh, no big deal. I just, it's been a long time since I worked on a Chubby, so uh, yeah, we'll be pulling the distributor out now.
Okay, so we got the intake off here, sitting on the bench. There's a couple things I want to check out up here where that uh, low antifreeze leak was on the intake. So I want to make sure it isn't cracked for some reason. This is an old intake, um, a very old intake. I don't see anything. Just making sure there's no porosity there or anything. Um, it's an old Offenhauser, and uh, it's probably off a of 327 is my guess because it has this plug right here. That's where an old uh, fill neck would go on, on one of the older 327, 283 engines. It's one of the reasons I like this is it's a, it's a cool vintage um, intake for this engine and someday I might actually pop that out of there and put one of those oil necks on there just to keep it more vintage. And really, other than the wheels, um, and of course it's got disc brakes because safety, um, but I really did try to build this more like a hot rod would have been built in the 50s or the 60s with a straight axle. So uh, it's got the straight axle front end under it and small block Chevy in it. But uh, with this older intake, yes, it's got HEI. I know that. Um, someday I might swap that around too. I mean, I wasn't going for perfect, but uh, that was some of my thinking was, hey, might as well keep it as period correct as you can. So I need to pop this out of here for the, um, for the temperature sender goes in, get that cleaned up. Probably just going to leave this plug in here and just sandblast it, and I'll paint that uh, before I clear coat this thing. So uh, ready to go on this, but I think what I'm going to do first is get the um, the bolts and stuff sandblasted over in the cabinet, and uh, I'm going to take a look at the weather forecast and decide whether I'm going to do this in the cabinet or if I'm going to take it outside and uh, do it with the big pressure blaster. Um, you can see here, this is what I was wanting to do. Uh, I clear coated this when we put the engine together. The thing was perfect, uh, but the clear coat somehow didn't stick. And so the aluminum here is oxidizing underneath the clear coat. And I really want this to look as beautiful as it did when I put it on there 10 years ago. Um, plus it's just a lot of dirt and grime that needs to be cleaned up as well. So, Okay, so uh, here's what we've got here. I'm going to do those brackets up that I never did before, so that'll make things look a little prettier. And uh, the bolts. I got a, I don't remember if those are stainless or not. I don't think I want to sandblast those, at least not yet. I'll try cleaning those up in a little solvent and see what they look like. Um, but I want to get the bolt heads here, bolt heads head tip, the bolt heads here sandblasted and uh, get them repainted and get that ready to go first. So uh, I spent a lot of time just getting things masked off here and... Um, blocked off to try to minimize the amount of sand that gets into the intake for obvious reasons. Don't want uh, sand down in there, if at all possible. This is all blocked off here. I need to block off the thermostat and I need to pull this fitting out and block off that hole. And I think we're going to try blasting this in the cabinet. So there you go. Okay, so I tried using the sandblasting cabinet and that wouldn't work. So I dropped my pressure blaster out here and I'm going to get after it with that and see what happens. So uh, let's see how it works. It's a nasty job, but it's getting there. I think I might be running out of sand, so I gotta go see if I've got more. I think I do. I got it about two thirds done. So uh, it's getting close. So we'll show you the finished product when I get it finished up here. Okay, so here's where we're at. It's looking really good. Very happy with it. I've uh, had a lot of problems with the uh, sandblaster. I gotta touch this spot up in here. There's still a little bit of clear coat down in there. Uh, I'm using old used sand, that's all I had, and it keeps plugging up on me, so it is what it is, but it's going to be done here in a few minutes. So I just got a little bit of clear coat down in here and a little bit up in here to get off of there, and then uh, right here, and then up in here. So uh, it's out of sand right now, I got a little more I can put in there, so it'll take me a bit to get that strained out and put in, and hopefully I don't end up with it plugged up anymore. Two or three minutes of sandblasting and this thing is done and ready to clear coat tomorrow. Okay, so uh, tomorrow... The next step will be to get it cleaned up with some prep saw, blow it off real good, and then uh, 
get some clear on it. So it won't be being assembled tomorrow, but there's other things I want to do yet anyway, so time-wise it's good, but uh, it's after 5 o'clock and I need to go in and get supper ready because Becky will be home in a while and uh, she's going to want to eat. So let's do a wrap-up. Same blasting is an awful job. It's tiring. Hands hurt from holding that thing. So much back pressure on it. There's no way that would have got done in the cabinet. So, well, let's wrap it up for today's episode here. 47 Ford Street Rod. I appreciate you watching. Be sure to pass the word around. Get your friends to subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell down there so you get notifications. Uh, if you have any questions, post them down there in the comments. I read everything that's posted down there and I'll be happy to answer anything you have to say. Or if there's anything you want me to show you or anything you want to talk about, want me to talk about, let me know. Have a great week and stay safe out there. Rock on.